From the students that are the most successful that I've talked to, they do not waste leads ever. No lead goes to waste. Some people come in so hyped up and then it first like hurdle and they quit. This is a million dollars of profit in a 12 month period. Like you gotta do some things. Like you gotta make some stuff happen. It's not just overnight. Like the proof is in the pudding. Just do the work, stay consistent. And within that six month mark, you will start to see that success. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Real Estate Investing Podcast. I'm your host, Ron Apke, joined with Anthony Weiler, our co-host, our COO of Land Investing Online. Apke Land does a ton for us. So again, Anthony's been a guest here. You've probably seen him a lot more recently. So excited to have you, Anthony. Yeah, excited to be here. It's always fun. I don't think I've said our topic yet. Today, we are talking about taking your land business or really starting a land business from zero dollars, which is where everyone starts, and taking it to a million dollars per year, a million dollar business. And it sounds like, I think that word, like a million dollars sounds, a lot of people want us to always say like, how do I get to $10,000 a month? How do I get to this? And I don't know, I, I like thinking a little bigger in general, but it, it's just not that unattainable with this business yeah. model, in my opinion. Yeah, it, it really it really is attainable, like you said. And I think people look at it as like, oh, I wanna make $10,000 a month or I wanna make this per month, just because we're so used to that, you know, bi-weekly or weekly or monthly paycheck, right? Um, but on the the grand scheme of things, like it only takes a handful of deals, depending on how you set up your business with land flipping. So now I'm excited to talk about this topic. Yeah, and like running a business, like everyone says, I want ten thousand dollars a month. But the reality of running any business is, you are going to fluctuate. Whether your goal is ten thousand or a hundred thousand per month, some months are going to be above that, some months are going to be below that. And everyone, I think the ten thousand dollar per month, the twenty thousand dollar per month, is just kind of the stability in their mind. Mm -hmm. They're coming from a nine to five because they know they're getting x dollars at their nine to five every month and it's like a mindset shift like you don't know what the hell you're gonna get next month you don't do anything this month <laughs> yep. you might not get anything th next month like you gotta take action you gotta make things happen but i think that's the first kind of thing is the mindset in building something it's gonna be inconsistent at times i think oh definitely and again like you nailed it on the head. I mean, people are doing this for their first time, like running their own business. And I just think about the first time I started my land flipping business and we took off, you know, right off the bat. And then, you know, then we had some dead periods. It's like, oh, like, what do we do? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so used to this consistency. And if this is your first time running a business and you don't really have, let's say you don't have anything like really set up in place before you get started in terms of what can and can't happen and those expectations, it can really mess you up mentally at first. And um, I think it's really important to, you know, have a good mindset starting off. Yeah, absolutely. And let's just start with that. Like you're starting, you're watching us for the first time, you're watching us for a 10th time on YouTube, but you haven't taken any action yet. Like that first step is always really education. And like, it always is like, you got to learn how to do this. Um, you got to come in with the right mindset. Some people come in so hyped up and then it first like hurdle and they quit. Other yeah. people like are coming in more stoic and like just kind of getting things done, get things done on a day to day basis. What's that mindset like coming in? Like once they maybe they invest in an education, whatever it is, like what are those next steps? What is that mindset? Where should they be? Yeah. And in terms of, you know, what I see it, like you said, a lot of people are very emotional and they jump into this like, oh, I'm going to, you know, make this amount of money right then and there. And then you kind of see that taper off because they have such a high with how excited that they are. Um, and I'm sorry, what, what was the, what was the question that I want to, what's that, what's kind of that mindset they need? Mm -hmm. Uh, what's kind of yeah. those first few steps that they need to yeah. take care of mindset is just, you know, taking action. What's going to move the needle forward. Right. And like you said, it's education. You're doing all of the, all of the right things. You're networking with people. And in terms of uh, mindset, I think the biggest thing, and you had mentioned, um, being stoic is just being level headed. You're going to have moments to where you're really excited. You're going to have moments where you're a little bit lower, but being even keeled, like one of my favorite quotes is chop wood, carry water, chop wood, mm -hmm. carry water. It means just do the things you need yep. to do to get there. And I think that's the mindset that's very much needed because I mean, we've seen it. There's highs and lows in this business. There's marketing campaigns We're like shit that I sent three mailers and I didn't get a deal. But then you send, you know, three more. It's like, oh my God, I have like seven deals. Yeah. I'm going to make $400,000. Like look at Landon in terms of what he's been able to do. So consistency is so important. Yeah, absolutely. I remember the times when like, it's just one little bad thing would happen. And I'd get all worked up yeah. and like, it's not, I don't think it's a healthy way to do it. I don't think it's the most, <laughs> the best way to do it. Yeah. Like taking action is going to co cause results. You're going to have some things that are like, okay, that disappoints you. You're going to have some things that should get you excited, but that, 
like that roller coaster, your highs not being too high and your lows. I'm not saying never celebrate. I don't, yeah. people think I say that, but it's just like, like when you, something good happens, something bad might be following. Mm-hmm. Like at the end yeah. of the day, like you in business in general, like you just got to get the job done. You just got to move the needle forward. Mm-hmm. Um, you start celebrating too much, like every little win, you start getting so angry or emotional on little losses. It's going to pull your business down and it's not going to take it where. And that's how, like I always believe it's input and output. Like it's just input. You put in a certain amount, you're going to get out a certain, yeah, you got to do the right things. But some people, like you said, get so excited from the yep. start. And then it's like, where are you? Where have you yeah. been? Like I see some people who I had consultations with and they were pumped. Like they were excited and then they're not in webinars. They're, uh, they're not going through the course. They're not asking questions yep. in discord. There's going to be difficulties. And that one, I, that's what I want to get to next. Ann is those first six months. And it's something we have talked about with more so with our guest over the last few months when we've had them in the studio for episodes. Mm-hmm. But those first six months are filled with highs and lows. Yep. Like I want to quit this. I love this. I want to quit this. And it's just that and that, but talk about that a little bit. Yeah. And I'm really excited to talk about this because one of the things that I do is I love seeing how long people have been part of the community. And it's like, all right, who's sending mail? Who's communicating in Discord? And the ones that make it past that six month mark is when you really start to things see things take off. And I mean, a great example is a member, um, you know, Katie. I remember I've talked to her hand like all the time. And, you know, her first few mailers, she's like, I don't know if this is going to work for me. They've been duds. I mailed to this county and it's filled with Amish people. I just don't know if this works. Like I I need to go back to school. I'm a professor. And then she just kept at it. And then just the other day I connected with her and she has, I think like 200 grand in the pipeline on the dispo side. Love it. And I mean, just taking that action is so, it's so important. But like you said, those first six months are difficult because you're investing in education. You, you need to figure out like, okay, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? Do I understand how to comp land? Do I understand how to market effectively? Do I know how to price things outright? And you're going to make mistakes along the way. But as long as you stay consistent and send out mail, you're going to have results like Katie. You're going to have results like Landon, Deshaun, who was cold calling, you know, all day, every day. And then he got a deal that gave him like 10 grand of profit to invest in education just to get the ball rolling. So, again, it's just the proof is in the pudding. Just do the do the work, stay consistent. And within that six month mark, you will start to see that success. Yeah. And like with with our company, with Line Investing Online, like we track the people who are taking action. We track the people who uh, churn and churn is essentially they're they're not part of the community anymore. But after they get past that six month, like people don't leave. Like mm-hmm. people do not leave because they're making yeah. money and the $99 a month isn't like anything. Uh, so that that's really like the data is so clear. If yeah. we can get, and that's part of our job as educators, as coaches, whatever you want to call us, um, is helping you guys. And that's why we do episodes like this is to, that's why we bring guests on here is to let you guys know, like having struggles those first six months is normal as hell. Like it really is. It's not like you're not going to just go into something and just be the best. Like it's yeah. not rea- realistic. You need those struggles are helping you learn. And the mindset of allowing those struggles to help you learn, uh, it is just everything. And like you got into this for a reason. When things get hard, just remember the reason you got into it. Some some people might be more freedom. Some people might just want some extra money. There's a lot of different reasons. But going from there, Anthony, like and talking about the happier side of things, like first six months, you might break even, you might make 10 grand, you might make 50 grand, um, you might lose a couple thousand, but you've done some deals and you have some good things in the pipeline. It's different. Um, but after that six months, like the deals, like they're more comfortable. Yeah on the phones, they just, it's something that clicks. And it is very clearly at that point. Um, I've talked to enough people, but what kind of happens after that? Is it just from the educate? What is it? So it's, it's really just like fine tuning everything that you have in place, like all the mistakes and all those lessons. Now you've just refined that and you're like, okay, I think I understand this more. And then you, you have some deals in the pipeline. You've probably made a decent amount of money because again, within six months, you should still have a few deals. Like you're going to have a decent amount of profit. And it's like, oh, like shit, how, how can I scale this? This actually yep. works. I have some good proof of concept. So I think that's when things really just spark and people get excited again. And it's like, okay, well, how can I scale this? How can I beef up my acquisitions? Like how do I have teams in place? And you, you kind of see that excitement of when people had first joined. Um, but the, it's really important to keep that momentum because there's highs and lows with, you know, with business, in my opinion. But in terms of what I see once that six month mark hits is 
they just become, they seem like an absolute professional. They understand this model quite well. And now they just, they just look on how to, you know, just take off from there. It's like a scaling up phase. Yes. Like that's what I see yes. a lot of times. Like they've done a couple of deals their first six months. They've learned. And that the ability to be profitable in a business the first six months when you're learning, you're making mm-hmm. mistakes, it says so much about the business model as yeah. a whole. Because there are a ton of mistakes that happen and people are still making money. And then after that, they're like the deal flow starts, they minimize their mistakes. I'm not saying you won't make any, but um let's kind of get we talked about zero dollars or the episode is zero dollars 10 million we want to talk about like what that looks like from a mental emotional state as far as those first and kind of the highs and lows for sure what is what do people need to do to make a million dollars their first let's just say not their first let's just say month six month to 18 months so basically wiping out those first six months those are learning you might make a little bit of money um but it's not you're probably not gonna make a million dollars your first 12 months unless you go crazy on it but they've learned their lessons. They're six months in. They're like, these next 12 months, I want to kill it. I want to make a million dollars. Um, where, where do they need to be? Like what, what type of mail volume, what, what should their acquisition strategies look like? Yeah. So in terms of mail volume, I mean, it all depends in terms of what they currently have set up. We need to make sure, you know, you have the right systems and processes in first, like you can send out 30,000 mailers a month, but if you don't have a CRM and you're tracking stuff through Google spreadsheet, good luck. You know, um, so I would say, um, again, it depends on where someone's at, but I would, I would say anywhere from 15 to 20,000 mailers a month, again, depending on where you're currently Mm -hmm. at, how much profit you have and how much marketing capital, um, start looking into a team, you know, I'm I'm assuming you'd probably have a VA by that time because you already have some profit. I'm doing things like data entry, pulling data, scrubbing data. You don't really need to focus on things like that. The ultimate goal is you want to essentially just oversee things and be like, okay, like move forward with this deal or like, yeah, let's pass on this deal, right? Like that's the position that you'd want to be in. So I would say, again, anywhere from like 15 to 20,000 mailers a month and diversifying your um, acquisitions, whether you do texting follow-ups or you do cold calling or um, people do pay per clicks, like just beefing up your acquisitions. Like the name of the game is acquisitions. And I tell people at the end of the day, we're in the land flipping space, but we're essentially like a marketing company. We're reaching out to people, trying to get that first touch point. And you know, that's, it's direct mail marketing. And so, um, and just a B testing, you have data to work with. And a big thing too is continuously investing in education. I see some people like, oh, I got some deals under my belt. Like I know what I'm doing. And they just kind of flatline because they're no longer investing in them, yep. in, in themselves. So I think like looking at things like coaching on how to um, grow and scale your business, looking into books like Buy Back Your Time by Dan Martell, or like looking into things that help you maybe like philosophy to help you with mindset as you continue to grow things. Um, so I know that was a long winded answer. Yep. Hopefully I, I answered the question, but that's kind of what, what I think would be to get you to that next step systems and processes in place and really beef up your acquisitions. Yeah. I think to do a million dollars in a 12 month period, like, I don't know if you need 15,000 mailers to be hundred percent honest, maybe 12 to 15, maybe mm-hmm. 10 to 15. If you are adding another acquisition channel, like follow up texts, like mm-hmm. cold calling, those different things. That's what I want you guys really looking into at that stage. Like how do I yeah. do a million dollars in a 12 month period? I think having multiple acquisition strategies, what you want to be focusing on, like Anthony said, is like, you want to, you want to be putting your time and effort into things that make money. Like what makes money in this business? Scrubbing data doesn't make money in this business. It saves a couple pennies. Um, what you're good at. You also got to look in the mirror and like see what you're good at. If you're a kick-ass salesperson, don't outsource sales. Yep. Do not do that. It's not the smartest thing to do. If you struggle with, uh, I don't know, organization, all these stuff like a transaction coordinator, an overseas transaction coordinator, that's $6 an hour, $4 an hour is a very realistic thing where you can focus more on getting more deals. Uh, getting bigger deals, following up with leads that talked to you two months ago, because that is like the people from the students that are the most successful that I've talked to, like that is the one thing, like they do not waste leads ever. No lead goes to waste. Uh, If someone is potentially interested in selling their land, they are going to have a follow-up plan for them so they can keep touching. And that's how you do it. To make a million dollars, this is a million dollars of profit. This isn't a million dollars of revenue. This is a million dollars of profit in a 12 month period. Like you gotta, you gotta do some things. Like you gotta make some stuff happen. It's not just overnight. Like you cannot take leads for granted. You can't do any of that stuff. Um, if you haven't, if you're at this period where you're six months in and you guys have heard so many people in the seat that Anthony's in, 
talk to us about like what they're doing and all of them say the same thing. They're adding a different acquisition strategy. They don't take leads for granted. Um, and they, they're just really attacking the business. They believe in the business every time. And it's not necessarily, there's a lot of people who have sat there too, who like they went through a lot of hard times yeah. and like, there's a time when like it's, it, maybe it's easier to quit than keep going on, but they kept going on and that's where, why they are where they are, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And again, it's just it's just about pushing forward. Like, what are you going to do if things, you know, get difficult and not trying to say that, oh, you're going to completely suffer doing land flipping. There's people that have had great success right off the bat, which is crazy to see. Like a member who had just recently joined, we funded his deal and he's getting like 40 grand after profit splits with oh, us. And, uh, you know, he had started just a couple Adam, of months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Adam, which it's is like just crazy. 45 grand, I think he'll make. Yeah. So you could have moments like that, but Again, more so on the um, on the side of like, hey, this is what can happen. Be prepared and, you know, make sure you're mentally ready for it. And like we had talked about at the beginning of the episode, this is starting your own business. This isn't something that is all fine and dandy, you know, yeah. type of deal. Like there's going to be moments to where like, oh, I'm trying out a brand new business venture. Like this is a big deal. You need to take it seriously. It's not something you just buy and be like, okay, like I'll spend like 20 minutes a day just yeah. messing around i'll fart around on discord yeah it's not going to do anything for you you got to commit to it like yes. this has the potential to replace your if you're in a nine to five it has a potential to replace your nine to five um like this vehicle land flipping as a whole that's why we're so passionate about it um has the potential to do so many things for you uh in your life for your family all these different things but it is like it's it's a business like there's yeah. competition there's other people trying to yeah. do things there's other people that want to make money um and you treating it as a business and giving it that kind of respect is important yeah. i'm not saying it's going to take 60 hours a week it doesn't like you can do this you can do a million dollars per year with 20 25 hours a week i have no doubt about it i know you can i've seen people do it but you got to treat it and respect it for what it is and really invest in your education learning everything like that but uh other than that, Anthony, I don't think I have anything else to add. Uh, if you are just starting, if this is your first time watching us, uh, watch some other videos. It's probably my first suggestion. If this is your first time seeing us, watch some other podcasts, watch some other videos, see if this is something that is right for you. If you guys are in one, of, if you guys are zero to six months right now and going through a hard time, I think uh, I sound like a counselor, I feel like when I just started to say that, but you guys are at zero to six months and maybe some mail didn't work as well as you wanted, Some whatever it is keep fighting like it really yep. is like that there's good things on the other side there it really is but uh other than that anthony thank you so much uh thank you guys for listening if you guys are watching on youtube hit that subscribe button leave us a message in the comments if there's anything else you want us to talk about thank you so much we'll see you next time see you, everyone as always thank you for joining please do us a huge favor and like and subscribe our youtube channel and share this with a friend it really means the world to ron and i but more importantly it could help change the life of someone else thanks for joining and we'll see you next episode